thanks for tuning into this video wherever you're from um, for this one I basically took the inspiration from my Eclipse build which was focused on the Ridgeway's Pride uh, with one piece Siska um, so I thought what else could I actually do with it so I decided to make a no shield variation of that one one way I don't actually need I don't depend on a shield at all there's no shield as part of the build um, so as you might gather the obvious chest piece there he will be unbreakable um, you, I could have used a tardigrade as well, but I mean, I'm making, I'm focusing now lately on builds where I don't actually use any exotic pieces besides the weapons. I mean, where I try not to use the memento or tardigrade because not everyone has them, especially in newer players, you won't have those things available. Um, so I'll just start with the zero Fs. Um, this is relatively easy to find. Um, it's a badger name piece, um, badger tough, um, where you get shotgun damage as the first Brancy bonus. Um, 170k armor rolled on there. I came with uh, this uh, crit chance on the critical hit damage and crit damage in the mod start. So perfectly unbreakable. If you don't know, I mean it's perfectly clear. It's, it's right there. When your armor is depleted, you you get 100% of your armor back immediately. Um, the cooldown, the negative there, the cooldown, you have to remember, is 55 seconds. The other option you could use, you could use the Ridgeway Pride. The Ridgeway Pride, as you damage enemies within the 15 meter range, basically they'll start bleeding. And the more enemies bleed at the same time, in front of you in that range the more um the more armor you get back basically because that's the other the other option so either one i mean i'm choosing to go with perfectly unbreakable because i'm, I'm not limited to a range um, but bleeding edge can work just as well in a ball like this um, so either one you can use if you have the the religious pride go ahead and use it if you don't have it zero f is perfectly fine um, and the grupo here why well, have one piece grupo is for 15 percent critical damage as part of the brand seed bonus there's weapon damage crit chance crit damage are rolled on the um and there's my 12 percent critical damage mod so the four pieces here you'll notice that I actually um, I rolled them to blue, I rolled them to armor. Normally um, in Crisp Protocol, if you don't know this already, it comes rolled as skill tier. Um, so you can either choose to make it um, armor core or you can do or you can change it to a weapon damage core. Um, which I've done already. I've done the weapon damage one already. I've done I use yellow one. I've I haven't uploaded or actually use Eclipse as a, a tank ish build. Not uh, a tank ish. I mean to to call something tanks but uh, um, it is a bit skeptical, but anyway, um, so I have 170k armor here, um, crit chance, what I can roll with, I was very lucky with that crit chance of 5.8%, um, the second piece here, um, I'll go through the spell go right now, what it actually does, if you don't know it already, but the chances are you are, you are already aware what it does, um, um, there's 170k armor there, 5.5 crit chance as well, uh, the glove, um, making out the third piece is 170k armor, 10.9 critical damage. Optimization station, I can actually push those um, those crit max out. But preferably I would have wanted crit damage on there, but it's very difficult to find. Um, the backpack here, you could ask me, okay, now I'm using the backpack which only has a system aggravator on. I could be using something like um, like the Memento backpack or there's a perfectly wicked, um, or backpack with perfectly wicked or wicked, but I've done that already, I've uploaded it already. So, I mean, that thing has been overdone already, probably. Um, so system aggravator amplifies all damage you deal to status affected targets by 30% um, there's other options you could have taken but I decided to go with this 170k armor, 3.4 crit chance and 12% critical damage in the mod slot um, I'm going with the reviver hive here because I'm going with no shield so if I'm not running around with the shield I prefer having the reviver hive just to have a second um, life there um, which reminds you of nomad in Division 1. Uh, my explosive C command. The cooldown is actually a bit long, but <coughs> sorry, in, in combat you won't actually, you won't notice it that bad. The bleed duration is not that important, it's only 8 seconds. The bleed damage is not is not that high, it's only 40k. I mean, there's no there's no skill tier on this build, um, which I could have, um, I could have, could have used something like the ignition, I could have used the memento to push it up, to push up the skill tier, to push up the damage of the explosive C command. But the point of the explosive C command here is not actually to kill them. Um, to kill the enemies, just to chase them away or to let them bleed to um, just to proc my system aggravator on them because here um, I just decided to just go with the system aggravator because um, 
just to to not use the memento because not everyone has it and because then i have to i do not have to rely on picking up trophies um to get my bonuses you can actually get a lot more damage from using the memento than you get from system aggravator you get a lot more system aggravator i'll only be used i'll only be targeting one npc at a time in any case so this uh, way wicked would have given you weapon damage that applies across the board to anybody this only gives you damage to the one enemy which you have affected with the status um which you actually get from the um the explosive seeker or you can actually get it from the scorpio as well um with the with the septic shock debuffs especially uh thinking when it comes to that um uh, once you start shooting them you get your um you you proc your system aggravator because those are statuses um and the scorpio um basically i mean the main thing for me is the shock and the and the, the way you proc the npc to get 20 percent damage or other sources so if you're running in a team whether you're running in a team or solo we can help you out doesn't matter um the secondary weapon you can choose whatever you want i'm going with the grudge because killing an enemy with a status effect applied grants you and your <coughs> and your team crit chance and crit damage um, for 20 seconds um, you could use any other um, SMG, any other, you can use a assault rifle if you want to, doesn't really matter. Um, like I said, that's not actually um, the top thing to use, but it's something um, which I don't see that uh, as, as common. So I'm just gonna go through, fire off a few rounds here. As a veteran. Like I said, you can get a lot more damage from other pieces, from other chess pieces. If you maybe better want to run Intimidate and Memento, I mean, that's that would be the, the default way to run this. But, I mean, I've never actually, I haven't seen personally someone that all, um, all armor and Eclipse. It's either all weapon damage or all skill tier. So I decided to give it a try and I actually like this bolt. It's, it's, it's fun, it's fun to use. Um, it's it's basically almost like the two pay three variation of this, also with Unbreakable, um, and with uh, um, I think I, I use the wicked chess piece in there. But uh, oh yeah, the stats uh, on the Scorpio 46.7 and 139 critical damage. On the Grudge 60% crit chance, 140 critical damage. And on Officer's M9A1 51.7 and 130 critical damage. So I'm actually losing out on crit damage here um, because I have crit chance in here. Well, I could have had maybe a Seska in here, but um, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of ways you can run in Eclipse, but this is another way to do it. Um, it's it's a fun way to do it. Like I said, you can run the Regis Pride in here. Up to you. You can uh, take the Memento in here. But basically, the Brancy bonus of Eclipse is status effect, skill raise, hazard protection, and when you kill an NPC, your status effect gets spread within 10 meters um, to enemies within 10 meters, and it refreshes 50% of the duration of that. So it gives you a few extra seconds where you can move on to the next target, um, which will still have system aggravator procced on them. Um, so guys, that's basically it. You could use even Creeping Death, Memento, um, perfectly wicked, whatever the case may be, whatever you want to do. Um, this is just a way that I, f I find actually fun to run. Um, so guys, that's, that's it for this one, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheerio.